UK Healthcare recently partnered with Lean Systems Program, a partnership between UK College of Engineering and Toyota to take on the complex issues that the health system is now facing. I guess the first question you might ask is, engineering, Toyota, what does Toyota and making cars have to do with healthcare? Well, the connection between making cars and caring for people is remote, but the thing Toyota and UK Healthcare do have in common is the desire for continuous improvement. Toyota has been studying continuous improvement methods for over 60 years and has turned it into a science. The resulting approach and methods are something from which we can both benefit. The Lean Systems Program, UK Healthcare, and the Center for Health Services Research have come together to apply lean principles to the health system's new observation unit. The collaborative team decided that for UK Healthcare and the new observation unit, continuous improvement means creating a work culture that supports the work team to systematically solve problems by themselves and improve the work they do towards the achievement of the overall targets and goal. Let's take a look at how this is done in practice. We'll work our way backwards so that you can see how the ultimate goal is always achieved via the process. As you can see, the ultimate goal is optimal health care, which means better, faster, and more affordable care. The ultimate goal is reached through continuous improvement. Of course, as the name implies, this process is never-ending. The way this works is that we set a results target and establish a process to achieve it. We problem solve and work at it until the process is effective in achieving our target. Then we fine tune the process until we get consistent and sustainable results. Finally, we can start again by increasing the target or raising the bar to push towards an even better result. All of this leads us continually toward our ultimate goal of optimal healthcare. At UK Healthcare, our product is patient care. The standard processes are the practices, methods, and procedures we use to deliver patient care. These processes are where problem solving happens. Problems, or abnormalities, are unavoidable in any process. We'll celebrate when we find problems because we recognize them as opportunities to get us closer to the ultimate goal. So, when we see a problem, we'll address it with a standard problem-solving method to ensure that it does not happen again. Once we stabilize our process, we can then think about how to improve them. In a way, this is like creating a new problem, and we'll use the same problem-solving method to address process improvements. Successfully executing the standard processes, recognizing abnormalities, problem solving, and process improvement are not easy tasks. To do this, we need a solid foundation, and at UK Healthcare, our foundation is an engaged staff, clear roles and responsibilities, leadership support, and a patient-centered culture guiding all efforts. An engaged staff is one that is focused on the job and not distracted because their fundamental needs things like safety, job security, rewards, and resources are met. This staff has clear roles and responsibilities. The work is clearly defined along with who is responsible to do what and when. This removes assumptions and areas of no accountability that inhibit work. The staff will also have leadership support and a patient-centered culture. Leaders will teach, coach, and inspire. They expect and allow the staff to do what they must to achieve the expected results. Leaders strive to create an environment and a patient-centered culture where all these elements work together so that everyone takes ownership, resolves problems, and contributes to providing optimal health care. The outcome is a work culture that supports the team to systematically solve problems by themselves and improve the work they do towards the achievement of the overall targets and goals.